from a viral basketball sensation to falling off the face of the planet. What happened to this home team hoops legend who pulled millions of views on YouTube and even dunked over a 7-6 Taco Falls standing at 6-1? Well, his name is Corey Sanders, and he was one of the most cocky players we have seen on the court. Now, a little bit about Corey Sanders. He grew up in Florida, where he played for a number of different high schools and averaged 16 points per game and even played alongside NBA hooper Dwayne Bacon. He enrolled into IMG at one point, one of the top prep schools in the country, but unfortunately never ended up playing for them. Now, Corey ended up playing for West Oaks Academy his last year of high school, where they won the state championship and he was averaging the most points on the team and his future looked bright for sure. Now Corey gained the majority of his popularity from the home team hoop series which showed his entire basketball career, the decisions that he's made along the way and really helped him climb the rankings for sure. Now he was ranked 85th in the class of 2015 as a four star recruit and it was safe to say he had garnered the attention of plenty of schools as he had offers from top programs but decided to attend Rutgers University. University. Now, this is not necessarily the best basketball program in the country, but he believed it was a school that could help take his game to the next level. And let's just say his freshman year, he did his thing. Now, he averaged 16 points per game, shooting great percentages. And there was a sign that this dude may actually get drafted his freshman year. Now, unfortunately, Corey decided this was not the best move for him and his family and decided to come back his sophomore year, where he averaged 13 points per game game and shot much lower percentages from the field goal than his freshman year. Now this was a huge disappointment because he was looking like an NBA star his freshman year and now his sophomore year he had let some people down. Now with that being said, Corey was the one to carry the team on his back for Rutgers and really made them known and put the team on the map compared to previous years when he was not there. Now Corey worked with a number of teams to hold pre-draft workouts but unfortunately Unfortunately, he just did not believe this was the right time for him to go to the NBA and returned back for his junior year. And let's just say this was the best thing he could have done. Now, he came back better than ever, averaging 15 points per game, but honestly struggled from the three point line. Now, was he finally ready for the NBA draft? Well, Corey entered his name in and unfortunately, he did not get drafted. Now, this was a huge disappointment for him, but where is Corey? now. Now, Corey has bounced around from a number of different overseas teams and even played for the Lakeland Magic NBA G League team, but currently he actually plays overseas and is playing for a professional team. 